dragging this all through the branches. So. Wow. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> today, well today, we're gonna move these turkeys and how much of a pain in the butt it's been raising these things. Oh, you still got a lot of go feed. Uh huh. Check out the beard. Check out the beard. He's not a little white anymore. You gonna leave? You gonna leave these guys out? Oh no. No. I yeah, you got three in the camp. woods. <laughs> oh man, hungry, hungry hippos. We're gonna move the fence tonight. We're gonna chop some stuff up. Why don't you go feed the goats up there, and I'll talk about this. This right here has been a pretty good little uh, use of uh, the feeders right here she holds about five bags of feed 30 gallon drum brute or just get her up in there and peck all this stuff out oh man oh can't get in there look at it yeah when dealing with the uh, birds that eat like these guys I had to graduate to something larger now the waterer, on the other hand, has been something I've been fighting with, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This right here has just been an absolute pain in the butt. These, these waterers here, you know, they work by hitting them down, and they automatically fill. Great for turkeys. Not. <laughs> but they are good for chickens. They're not great for turkeys. As you can see, these, these big turkeys, they just smash those things off so they just it's been an absolute nightmare but 55 gallons of fresh water you gotta put a vent in top but my plan was i'm gonna put a uh, a pvc pipe in there that can tell me what the level is in this thing but i will not be going back to those if i'm gonna raise turkeys that was an absolute nightmare everything else besides the watering i don't know how people make money off of turkeys because these things eat like dinosaurs seriously they just, they go through food like you wouldn't believe. Look at these guys. They will eat that drum dry. I don't know, within four days. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna raise turkeys again. I'm, I mean, I think we're gonna get like a, a heritage turkey. I don't know what they call them, the, the brown turkeys. They're your typical turkey. I think we're gonna get one of those. Um, you know, we're not sure if we'll get a tom or not, so we'll get a couple of them. So we do get a tom, because I think we want to get a tom. We do enjoy having a turkey. The ducks, on the other hand, they're they're a mess of themselves, but everybody knows how ducks are. All right. Well, that's enough about turkeys. <laughs> See you guys later, you job turkeys. Don't choke, all right? Chew your food. Cry out loud. So like discussing the, the past videos, we're gonna be moving these turkeys to this old garden because we're done with it. We gotta go get the fence up top like we said. But, boy's gonna finish uh, setting up the goats with their feed. While he's doing that, we're gonna look at this garden. My corn, corn didn't do so well. Didn't do well at all. Now I knocked most of this down because the raccoons, they just demolished it. So I figured I'd just take what I could get, feed it to the animals and uh, knock the rest down so i can put the birds in here i will tell you the next garden is going to have the electric fence around it because i am tired of uh, raccoons getting to the sweet corn they know exactly when to pick the sweet corn so <laughs> you do not get to it and oh it's frustrating so frustrating typically what i'll do is i'll put a talk radio out and just a radio playing talk radio is what i meant to say that will uh that will keep those pesky raccoons away, but I just didn't do it this year. And that's the result. I do need to get in here and get some of these jalapenos because we don't want to let these go to waste. These are some good sized guys. Woo! She full now? Yep. Man, that wind's blowing right in our faces. Clyde is kicking like a Bruce Lee flick. Good Lord. I am Benjamin now. Oh yeah, Benjamin too. Ah, oh, be nice. What did we name these little two babies? Uh, I didn't name them. You didn't name them? I didn't name them either. 
I think Autumn named her. Named both of them. Well, should we go get our special tool yeah. to get the fence? All right. Oh, well, why did I made a uh, special fence poultry netting device for holding poultry netting? If anybody's ever messed with that stuff before, it is a pain to hold on to and pick up, especially when you're dealing with like 150 feet of this stuff. It gets real heavy and real cumbersome and it catches on everything. So we made this little device that helps us collect the poultry netting and keeps it straight and organized for us. We'll show it to you here in a second. And if you ever wonder why it's cheaper to buy more poultry netting than it is to buy the shorter lengths, that's why, because it's such a pain in the butt to deal with. You guys wanna see it? How's that work, bud? Well, when we transport it, this goes into the UTV. These two white dowels go into the UTV holes. In the bed? Yeah, in the bed. Okay. And then when we take it out, we put the fence net on this and we lay it down. Mm. And we walk, we, when we walk with it, we always keep piling it on top. Yeah, and we just kind of hold the board. Now, we need to put like some kind of handle in here or something like that so we can yeah. hold it. I thought about putting like a strap so you can hang it off the side here and just kind of hang it on your chest, but I, I think that'd be kind of weird. I don't know. Should we get at it? Yeah. Collecting poultry netting, one of your favorite things to do, Wyatt? No. Oh, that's a shame because it is my favorite thing to do. There's not a day that goes by that wish I wasn't moving poultry net. Honestly, I love it. I love it. Kind of a pain in the butt. Well, I mean, the good thing is, is the goats have eaten all this down. So, That's not one thing. so oh, you're you're brave. I get poison ivy just looking at it, but yeah, I mean, not to worry about too much. So, all right, let's get in there. Is the fence off? Yeah. All right. See, that easy. Because I'm dragging this all through the branches, so. Wow. Are you okay? Yeah. Go over that way. I don't know if that got on video or not. Gave up on the little holder thing because this stuff is only so high. That holder we built for a, a taller fence, so it wasn't working out very well for this stuff. We couldn't remember if we held on to this by hand or not. You guys, uh, you guys ain't waiting on us, are you? <laughs> All right, didn't think so. Poopers up in the air. What's that? Poopers up in the air. Poopers up in the air. <laughs> He's like, I don't, don't know about this. Oh yeah, be special with Willie there. He's, he's a one of a kind. Yeah, heavy though. Yeah, well, it's a 15 pound bird probably. Just like meat birds. Have no skin, no feathers underneath them. Yep, just bear. Yep. So he's gonna get the rest of the birds. I'm gonna straighten out this fence and get the charger hooked up. And then uh, we'll be right back and we'll see how these guys like their home. 
So the problem is these guys, it's getting late and these guys want to roost. They want to go into the, their, their normal living quarters. So we got some nice uh, black sunflower seed here. What we're going to do is uh, sprinkle it in the grass area where they're at, start throwing it in the garden. We'll make them work for it. And then they'll want to stay down here and hunt for those seeds. So just, he just jumped that fence. Start off in the grass bud and then where they're at, let them feed. Let them know where it's at. Oh, 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 nope. Yeah. This guy is relentless. He wants to go. Turkeys like to be around people. At least my turkeys do. So maybe if we come down here, they'll follow us down here. Hey, tell your homeboys to come down here and chill. How many turkeys we start out with? 15? 15. I thought it was 15. I thought we bought. We bought 12 and they gave us an extra one. Yeah, but I thought I went and bought more. No. I think it was 15. Pretty sure it was. Then we must have lost three birds somehow. Well, we lost two to disease and one to the heavens somewhere. Oh, uh, oh yeah. So, uh oh. Whoa. Gunder puppy. Let's see if I hide. Phil come Ooh. running down there. Oh. Oh. Oh, is that puppy? What's up, puppy? Oh, he's a big boy. He's a big, majestic boy. Huh? Big, majestic boy. Where's your boy at? Where's your boy? Where's your boy? You ain't jumping off that wall. He come and get you. Yeah, you don't like that fence, do you? Do you? You know that fence. Oh! Hung under. He's been shocked by a fence or two. Yeah, yeah. He knows what it feels like. He knows what it feels like. Hmm. Huh, Poppy? Hi, huh, Poppy? Hi. <laughs> yeah, look at those meat hooks. I see they're finding the seams. Are they? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So like, hey, there's food down here. Food and water. There's no reason to leave. Don't you do it. The white pants are getting real good. Don't you do it. It'd be the worst thing you ever did. Again. All right, so we won't keep you all night, but I hope that wasn't the camera shot. We won't keep you all night, but we're, <laughs> we'll check back and, and we'll show you the progress of this garden and see how long it takes for these birds to destroy this stuff. I think we're gonna call it night. We're not expecting rain. They got a little shade with this tree, so we'll wait for the little uh, tarp to go over this uh, this cattle panel here. And we'll we'll go from there. So we'll be checking in. So we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Look at that. That's crazy. Hey, wanna bite? Mm -hmm. No, no, no.